Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with the free pick in the Cubs versus Rockies Major League Baseball matchup on Tuesday, April 2nd, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at Pick Dogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK for 15% off. We also have products meant for people who make big bets, people with big bankrolls looking for that one-on-one concierge style service. We offer these products, they're just not available on the website. They're still easy to get. You just got to text the number you see on the screen. So if you make big bets like I do, go ahead and text that number. But let's get to this one. We got the Cubs hosting the Rockies in the Cubs' second home game here of the season, playing at Wrigley. And, you know, the Cubs didn't play all that poorly, even though the Rangers got the best of them in that opening series, two games to one. But the Cubs kind of held their own in there, I have to say. And um, (laughs) really, a lot of teams are going to struggle against the Rangers this year. Javier Assad gets the ball for this one. He had 3.05 ERA last season. Um, started just 10 games, 12 appearances, went 109 innings. Gave up 13 bombs over that over that period and, uh, you know, 30, 38 earned runs, 93 hits. So he's decent, doesn't hurt himself all that bad. 41 walks, which is a little high for, for my taste, but, you know, for a guy at this point, in, at this point, position in the rotation you know certainly acceptable when we look at uh, the Rockies they go with Kyle Freeland we saw him in that game against Arizona that 16 to 1 beatdown loss he was the guy that got roughed up right out of the gate um He did take the loss in that game, going 2.3 innings, allowing 10 hits, 10 runs, all of them earned, two strikeouts, and just one home run to give up all of that. Yeah, that is not the way you want to start the season. And, of course, the Rockies hoping that that is the worst we'll see of Freeland this year. It's going to be tough to top that from the downside. The Diamondbacks were kind of just waiting, waiting on them. You know, the Rockies just not a great road team historically. Ten and forty-one in their last fifty-one on the road, but the but the Cubs, um, you know, not all that great. Um, you know, at home either. Um, just two and seven in their last nine games being played on grass, and of course, their home stadium is natural grass, and uh, you know, not a great. Uh, you know, didn't finish last season all that well either. So, you know, the Cubs hoping to turn it around. Craig Council, you know, now taking over as the manager. This guy is known for really knowing how to manage a pitching staff. We'll have to see it because the Cubs uh, bullpen 5.40 um, coming into this one. And, uh, you know, overall, the pitching staff has not been that great. But, you know, you played against the Texas Rangers lineup that uh, is going to be extremely tough. The Cubs' bats just haven't been getting it done, really, just hitting 225 um, overall, 227, um, you know, it, it against uh, against left-handed pitching. So um, 225 against righties. So, you know, just not really enough to get it done against the better teams, but not facing a team here considered to be one of the better ones. The thing is, is I just think people are so down on the Rockies here. It almost makes you think that probably not a bad place to be. Baseball is all about finding value. You're not going to win them all. So when you do win them, you certainly got to find the ones that are going to pay well. And I think betting on the Cubs are usually not a place where games pay well. I'm going to take the Rockies here. I think they got a puncher chance. I think we see Freeland bounce back in a big way. And that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.